Activists in Chicago are sounding the alarm about a shocking flyer promoting a, quote, day of violence against Muslims. Elizabeth Matthews is live with more on this disturbing poster. Elizabeth. Great for, for the Muslim population, this type of hate speech is sadly nothing new. Folks we talked to tonight say these flyers, these posters are so ridiculous, they try not to pay any attention to them. This is, come on, 21st century, you know, it's like, can we all get along now? Sad and to tell you the truth. I mean, obviously there's also feeling of disgust. The superintendent of Universal School in Bridgeview is aware of the anti-Muslim poster proclaiming April 3rd to be Punish a Muslim Day. Whoever wrote this, they don't realize the impact it has, especially on the on the young, especially on the children. When they feel like they cannot be safe on their own streets, they are not. They can be safe among their fellow citizens. It's really difficult. He says the administration at the Mosque Foundation has been talking about increasing security the past few weeks, around the same time this racist flyer began spreading on social media. It originated in London and lists several violent ways for people to take part in the offensive event. Dan Brown with the International Human Relations Council says they are alerting Chicago police about the flyer and the potential for violence. We don't want anybody hurt. We don't want anyone accosted. And we're warning people in advance that this is out there. Just like any other day, we have to be vigilant anyway. But we have to probably be all the more aware and vigilant on that day. Security around this suburban mosque will most likely increase around the date of April 3rd. Counterterrorism police in the UK trying to investigate, trying to find out who is behind this racist poster. Rafer, back to you in the studio. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much.